Welcome back everyone. It's August 3rd, 2024. You are going to see the behind the scenes with Team Ardema Brown at Bonneville Speed Week. We're running the Lakester with the homemade B12, naturally aspirated. Unfortunately, this is going to be our bummer at Bonneville event. The little V12 did get hurt, lost compression in one of the cylinders. However, we want to just show you behind the scenes and let you see how this all went down. We will be back at the World of Speed, fingers crossed, if we can get everything up and going again in that short amount of time. All right, Cal, we're going to be rooting for you. Yeah, Cal, let's go. Woohoo! So I flipped it off and flipped it back on again, then I had training. Once huh. you got moving? Yeah. My, my marker quarter and I, I realized something was wrong at a quarter. And then I went for Can you grab him a water piece? I've got one already. Oh, you got one? Okay. Yeah. I was gonna slip that back in the truck. How are you, you feeling? Oh. Nice like job, a million job, dollars. Good job, buddy. Good job. Like a nice. million yeah. dollars. You picked it up, man. Two you picked it up. Hour. You got it going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good job. Kevin, I, I want to know how did it you, Peter. did it track you, well down the track? Well, I was all over the track. Oh. You look at that. Well, it's official. Cal qualified. He put two miles per hour on the record. The celebrations began, but unfortunately, they were short. We discovered there was an issue. About 24 times it hit the rev limiter. Wow. Is that what hurt the engine? I think so. Okay. I think the valve. I mean, it's all over 10 grand. Total bummer. At this point, Pete realizes he won't be able to back up the record. 
Yeah, so it's zero, the compression. Yes, but it's 10. But it, this is 10. Cylinder number 10. Zero. Yes. yes Don't have it back. We only have 11 cylinders. We lost one cylinder. Yes. Lost yes. Cylinder. Only. Yeah. 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 That, 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 yeah. I understand. But what happened? What's what's happened? What's well, the rev? It's too lean. RPMs were too high. Ah. Okay. Not. But not. But no. It, it not broke too lean. Not too lean. Piston. Not too lean. It was a little on the lean yeah, side. Yeah, a little bit. Kevin wants to see it in the 12s. Okay. But it, it went lean, but that I we don't think that killed the we don't think that hurt the engine. Yeah, okay. I think the part that hurt the engine was what happened was Cal there might be a, a you know a, a, Cal turned on the transmission, he let the clutch out and nothing happened. So there there's there may have been a problem with the switch or something like that. Okay. All right. I'm good Pete. Pete. Here, take it. I made got, it. You gotta eat it. All right. So do you have any uh one more second or pickle? We got pickles on it. There's pickle, tomato, right. lettuce. This is a Pete Ardema inspired sandwich. Alright, Pete. So there's that saying, right? Shit happens, right? <laughs> so what are your thoughts right now? I'm rolling. Oh, a bummer, we're gonna fix it. Yeah. Come back in September, right? Maybe. Yeah. A lot of work. Yeah. Well, we got the fans from Germany. They can come back and help us. Well, like I say, it, I mean, combination of a few. It things. was a combination, but like I say, it it didn't cause any problems the, the way he took off. So I can't blame that on anything. It's just the uh, the air fuel ratio went lean, and it was running perfect. At, I mean, not perfect. It's actually rich. At El Mirage, it was running, and I did nothing to lean it out. So it was the exact same program, where we were running 11.9 to 12.3 uh -huh. on air fuel ratio for the whole run at El Mirage. And for some reason, at Bonneville, it went lean, and come to find out, there was issues with that ECU that they were having problems. And, and but not being able to adapt. I had or no adjust. idea about it. Compensate. So, yeah, so it, apparently it, it's it a, doesn't compensate. It actually, the guy I talked to told me that it was actually compensating the wrong way in the tables that are built into the. So when it was supposed to rich and it was leaning out? And, <laughs> yes, and there's nothing you do about it because the company is out of business now. So. No going out. So it looks like there's some scores in some of the cylinders, huh? Some scoring. Yeah. Definitely some scoring. So what are you going to do now? You're just. Pulling this whole, well, you I'm gonna get everything apart. Um, got one stuck, stuck, stuck here for some reason. Um, so I want to make sure the top is flat. Make sure I can get the aluminum deposits out of the cylinder, and then run a hone through it and see what it looks like. Um, what was the most uh, significant damage that was that occurred? Well, the biggest thing is the, this bore, uh, boring number 10. So you can definitely see deposits here um, of aluminum. That was that the cylinder that went zero? Yes. Yeah. And that's the, you know, this, this piston here. Watch your eye. Which you can see. Um, it's a, you know, had black death all over the place. Oh, yeah, so that's the big piece that's missing. Yeah. Huh? yeah. And that's that would basically be. basically the aluminum that's all over the place. And that would be detonation? Well, it, like I say, it ran lean and burned, out, burned it down, yeah. It's going to be... I mean, I'm pretty sure it detonated because it hammered the bearings. And then what do you do? Do you throw away all the bearings? These old buckets. There's the rods. Any of the rods? Questionable, or...? Oh, yeah. Here, here's... Oh, and you can see just the, some of the hammering that took place in the oh, bearings. Oh, yeah. So... Hope, I mean, I measured the crank, it's still round, so it... I saw you said there's a little mark on the crank. Did you have a little mark? It's not... Um, yeah, this, it, it doesn't measure small, so I'm going to try to polish that out. Is that out. just a burn, or what is that? More no, so? it's metal transfer from the bearings. Okay. But, you know, it hammered pretty good. Hammered good. Well, that's, I guess, racing, right? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. So the goal is get it all put back together and what, about another seven weeks, right? Is the Bonneville roll to speed? 
I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> coming up end of September. So yeah, you got about end of September, so. six or seven weeks to get it all put back together and running again. And I gotta get my boat ready too. Uh -oh. Boat racing. And month and, a half. and a new and possibly a new new computer and wiring harness. Oh, we're gonna get a new computer. Just so. don't know which one. I'm, I'm pretty sure which one. I mean, Pete told me to buy that one, so we're, we're gonna good. get it. We're all going right. to Haltech and hopefully, hopefully Haltech works. Hopefully Haltech works. All right. That looks neat. Kind of like the acid bubbling. Ooh, I can smell the acid. Yeah. If you get a good enough whiff, you know, it'll make you pass out. Oh yeah. So what is putting? What are, what are you doing with the acid? I'm trying to melt the uh, aluminum out of the ore. So any of... aluminum that got transferred in there, you're just kind of. Oh yeah. That's a nice aroma. That's why it turns black. We got to keep it out here where I can wash it off as soon as. It... And breathe. <laughs> oh, that's what I want it. Ventilation. You neutralize it with WD-40. Well, I just don't want the. I don't want it to eat the deck. <laughs> I just want it to eat the piston. Uh, actually, it does. It's going to pretty good. Now I have to get the other side. Well, it is what it is, right? Yeah. I know that was an unfortunate day for you and the team. Well, it's a computer that caused problems. Uh, I don't know, revving it up like that half a dozen times, hurt it? Yeah. You think it hurt it, Kevin? I don't see any marks on the pistons actually that I can they turned that engine 10 5 at Indy for five yeah, hours. I don't see any marks there. Yeah. So the RPM. we'd like to think that we could turn it 10 for five uh, miles. <laughs> or four miles, right? Yeah. Um, it's but, always a little glitch to get you. It's one little thing. Yeah. It's kind of similar, though. Could that, have, could that have, Kevin or Pete, do you think that could be why it did the same thing in 2021? Maybe the, yeah. the program was the same program. mapping out the wrong way and leaned it out? Well, it was yeah, those well, back. I think we blamed it on something else. We were talking about the air intake, but I think it was the computer the whole time. Yeah. Even last year or four yeah. years ago? Yeah. Yeah, 21. Why just the back? Huh? Why just the back, too? Well, this didn't. This, it's, this one up here, too. This time. Yeah, but last time it was just a back two cylinder. I know. But they all showed like that. Yeah. They all went lean. So Yeah, it's, it's, it's um, the computer we got out of Australia that the company Motec, right? Motec? Yeah. Bought. Or Haltech? Haltech, Haltech bought Motec. Yeah, and then now they just yeah. bought them, it seems like, to get rid of the comp competition. Yeah. They now bought they, adapt products. Now they don't want to take care of any problems that it caused. It's know? an obsolete part. Right. It's kind of the same as your iPhone, right? You buy an iPhone and three years later it's no longer supported and you got to get a new one, right? Well, this is three years. Yeah. And it's obvious mistake. People know what's wrong with it. Yeah. You know, all they had to do is say, hey, we'll give you a good deal on a new one. Uh, but they just discontinued it. But they say you got to go test it to get it right. Yeah. That means half a dozen trips up to Bonneville before you get it right. Well, that's another conundrum you have is that it's a V12 and there's not too many V12 ECUs out there. No controllers that run V12s. Well, that particular controller is the only one we could find that would handle V12 yeah. out of Australia. And then I don't know if they would have taken care of it had yeah. they still owned the company, but uh, they sold their company and Motec bought it. And now we're stuck. Yeah. So I don't know if we're going to buy a Haltech or a Motec or who else. Uh, Haltech that? is what Kevin's looking at the R5, Haltech R5, which has. It could do 24 injectors and 12 ignition coils okay. and less relays. We've got 12 injectors, right? 12 injectors, but you could do up to 24 yeah. if you had to. Yeah. Well, we got 24 on the big 12. Yeah. That's, a, that's the same computer. No, that was the Adaptronics. That's also an oh. Adaptronics. That's it for now, folks. We'll keep posted on the progress as the engine goes back together, as well as the new computer and wiring harness. We also want to say special thanks to our YouTube guests, Lars and Simon, who came all the way out from Germany.
to watch us run the vehicle. Some dedicated fans there, folks. Anyway, stay tuned. We hope to have another video uploaded soon. Thank you.